three-dimensional objects take up space. This means they have volume. How do we measure volume or the amount of space an object takes up? One way to measure volume is to use cubes or cubic units. Like other measurements, the units have to be the same with no gaps or overlaps. Connecting cubes fit perfectly together with no gaps or overlaps. Let's build a small object and measure its volume. It took 12 cubes to build this giraffe. That means the volume of this giraffe is 12 cubic units. What is the volume of this rectangular prism? We can count the cubes. 4, 8, 12. This prism has a volume of 12 cubes or cubic units. Wait a second. The volume of this giraffe and the volume of this prism are 12 cubic units. That's interesting. Objects that are different shapes can have the same volume. Let's measure the volume of this large cube. Notice that it has three layers of connecting cubes. The top layer has three, six, nine cubes. The three layers fit exactly on top of each other. This means they have the same number of cubes. Nine cubes in each layer means that there are nine, 18, 27 cubes in all. The volume of this large cube is 27 cubic units. Do you think the volume changes if we change the shape of this cube into, say, a big giraffe? We would still have the same number of connecting cubes, so the volume will remain the same. Try building your own animals, then measure their volume in cubic units.